Hi first graders, I hope you're having a good spring break. It is a beautiful day outside today. So if you have somewhere that is safe and clean that you can go play outside, I hope that you get a chance to today. Um, yesterday, the spring break challenge was to make some kitchen music. I saw on Seesaw that a lot of you guys made some beautiful songs. I didn't get a chance to yet, so I was going to play a little song for you. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Maybe I'll play some more later. Maybe you guys could try playing some music at home, too. The challenge for today is to make your own Brentwood bear and put it up in your window so that everybody can see that you are a Brentwood bear. So I think a little bit later today, I'm gonna go find some paper, some crayons. I could use markers if I want. Maybe I'll have some paint or glitter or something cool. And I'm gonna make a Brentwood bear and put it up in my window. I have one more thing I wanna tell you guys before I read my story. I got a package in the mail today. And I'm so excited because, do you know what it is? We've been reading Magic Treehouse number eight, right? And we're almost done. I got Magic Treehouse number nine, 10, 11, and 12. I'm so excited. So we can keep reading Magic Treehouse even if we're not at school. And then when we get back to school, we can read the rest. Now, I know that we're excited about Magic Treehouse, but I wanted to wait until after spring break to read it in my videos, just in case somebody is not looking at the videos right now because it is spring break time. So for today, I'm going to read to you guys, Scaredy Squirrel Makes a Friend. And I'm sorry, I have paint all over my fingers because I've been painting my kitchen all day today. Okay, Scaredy Squirrel Makes a Friend by Melanie Watt. Warning. Scaredy squir Squirrel insists that everyone brush their teeth with germ-fighting toothpaste before reading this book. Uh-oh, did you brush your teeth today? I brushed mine. Scaredy Squirrel doesn't have a friend. He'd rather be alone than risk encountering. Encountering. That means like coming across somebody. Someone dangerous. A squirrel could get bitten. Mm, he's scared. He doesn't want to meet anyone dangerous. A few individuals Scaredy Squirrel is afraid to be bitten by. Walruses. Bunnies. Beavers. Piranhas. Godzilla. Do you think that Scaredy Squirrel in his tree is going to run into piranhas or Godzilla? So Scaredy Squirrel finds interesting ways to pass the time all by himself. Hmm, I wonder what he's going to do. He reads... He whistles, he crafts, he yawns, he knits, he chats. He made a puppet out of a sock. Maybe you guys could make a puppet. He counts until one day he spots dot, 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 just like we've been doing in our writing. Someone perfectly safe. Look, what does the label tell us? A goldfish. The perfect friend. Ooh, look at this excellent chart with labels that uh, Scaredy Squirrel has made. Doesn't do much, but is 100% safe. Oh, the perfect friend, according to Scaredy Squirrel. Bubbly personality. Squeaky clean. Quiet. No teeth and germ free. Do any of you have a goldfish friend at home? 
after a few items Scaredy Squirrel needs to make the perfect friend. Did I skip the page? Nope. Let's see. He needs a lemon, a name tag, mittens. I wonder what he's going to need all these things for. A comb. What's this one? Mirror, it says. It kind of looked like a magnifying glass. Air freshener. Toothpaste. Chew toy. How to make the perfect first impression. That means like when you first meet somebody and what they think about you when you first first meet them is their first impression of you. Prepare freshly squeezed lemonade. Ooh, I would love to be friends with somebody who made me some lemonade. Make sure name tag is visible. Hello, my name is Scaredy. Scaredy Squirrel. Tame bad hair. Brush teeth thoroughly, like really, really well. And practice smile. Chuck for nutty breath and food caught between teeth. Wear mittens to hide sweaty paws. Ooh, do you ever get nervous and your hands get sweaty? Use pine scent to smell delightful. Follow the perfect plan. Let's see what his plan is. The perfect plan. Let's see what his plan is. Step one, toss down chew toy to distract biters. Oh, so he doesn't want to, let's see, I am here. So he's going to toss down the chew toy so that anyone who's going to try to bite him is going to get the chew toy instead. Step two, use mirror to check hair and teeth. Step three, run to fountain. Step four, point to name tag and smile. Step five, offer lemonade. Step six, make the perfect friend. Stay away from piranha-infused ponds. Don't talk to suspicious bunnies. Beware of walruses. They're fast on their flippers. Do you think he's going to run into a walrus? Avoid beavers. They could snap at any moment. Watch out for Godzilla for obvious reasons. Do any of you think maybe Scaredy Squirrel is like a little bit too scared? But let's say, just for example, that Scaredy Squirrel did come face to face with a potential biter. He knows exactly what not to do. Do not show fear. That means don't like let them know you're afraid. Do not show your fingers. Do not make eye contact. Do not make any loud noises. If all else fails, play dead. And hand over the test. Scaredy Squirrel's risk test. Who are you? How many teeth do you have? What is your hobby? Biting other. What do you see, friend? Something to bite. He is really scared of biters, huh? With every detail under control, Scaredy Squirrel puts the plan into action. First, he tosses the chew toy. Then, he heads down the tree. Everything is perfect until he hears a strange sound coming from behind. Squeak! And he realizes objects in a mirror are closer than they appear. He's looking in his mirror and remember that shoe toy that he tossed down? I think somebody is biting it. Who do you think it is? I'm sorry, let's be a little more suspenseful. And he realizes dot, dot, dot. It's a dog! This was not part of the plan! Ah! Does this dog look very ferocious to you?
The dog chases Scaredy Squirrel around the bush, around the fountain, and around in circles until Scaredy Squirrel... Dot, dot, dot. Plays dead. Look, he gives him the little quiz. 30 minutes later. One hour later. Two hours later. After all this time, Scaredy Squirrel realizes that the dog doesn't want to bite him. He decides to open one eye. He's like, mm, let me check. Look, this dog looks friendly, don't you think so? He just wants a friend. Scaredy Squirrel points to his name tag and smiles. Then he starts chasing his new buddy. They're playing together. They play fetch. They play hide and seek. And they play dead. Scaredy Squirrel forgets all about the goldfish, not to mention the walruses, bunnies, beavers, piranhas, and Godzilla. Time flies when you're having fun. All this excitement inspires Scaredy Squirrel to make a few minor changes to his idea of a friend. My almost perfect friend, according to Scaredy Squirrel. 83% safe, but lots of fun. Muddy paws, wet doggy smell, loud bark, tooth drool, germs. P.S. As for the wet doggy smell, it has been taken care of. Pine scent. He put an air freshener on him. The end. Did you like that story? I'm glad that Scaredy Squirrel was able to make a friend. Well, I'm going to go work on my spring break challenge. I'm going to make my Brentwood bear to hang up in my window so everyone can see. I hope you guys can make one too and maybe send it to me. If you haven't gotten Seesaw on your school tablet yet, you can go to uh, the Play Store in your tablet and download the Seesaw Classroom app. And then I will put a new code so that you guys can join and see all the pictures that your friends are posting, okay? Bye!